Hey, welcome back to Homegrown Country Home Place, friends. How y'all doing today? Well, y'all, hey, it's been a long time since I've done a video, and I said I better make y'all a video, let y'all know what I'm doing there. We've been doing fine and everything. Uh, I guess it's probably been at least a month, two months since I've made a video. But uh, just been real busy, uh, doing a lot of work and stuff, and different things, cutting firewood. Uh, got our garden for fall set out, got some mustard greens, turnip greens, different things like that, radishes uh, planted. And uh, so we've just been kind of busy around here, and, and I thought I'd just make y'all a video, give y'all a little update what's been going on. Uh, I'm in my leather workshop here. I think the last, maybe one of the last videos I did, I was had my uh, wood laid in here, uh, turning, uh, going to be, you know, d doing some bow turning and stuff. And, I done that for a while and I decided this little shop right here, which was intended initially uh, to do my leather work in, um, it's just a little bit too small to do the bow turning and a lot of dust and stuff and uh, I moved that to my wood shop and uh, so I, I put all my leather stuff in here and uh, that's what I've been doing. Uh, I've been working on a lot of different leather uh, projects and things getting ready. I'm going to have a uh, November I'll be going to sell a lot of this stuff in November and possibly December and so I've just been getting ready to do that and then um, been enjoying uh, spending my time doing that uh, I tell you this is uh, uh, the first time in a, uh, I guess a long time I've enjoyed actually uh, working doing something that I actually you know enjoy doing uh, I was a mechanic for almost I'm just about 17, 18 years I worked as a mechanic and uh, I enjoyed doing that. Um, I just kind of got out of that just because there's just so much uh, rat race involved in it and also, you know, the companies and stuff like that. Uh, they seem like I was more interested in money and instead of taking care of the customer and that wasn't never my focus was always make sure the customer's taken care of and uh, so I parted ways uh, with that for most part, plus technology and stuff like that. I like the mechanical aspect, working on vehicles, uh, more so than the electronics part. But uh, as you know, that's just part of it. But I still enjoy, you know, doing you know, work. I work on my own vehicles now and stuff, and I always have, you know. But um, just recently, you know, uh, well, I'll give you a little backstory first. Uh, years ago, um, I was working and I was a mechanic, you know, I started making, you know, some knives and different things, you know, and, and you know, come in from work and messing around a little bit. Never got real serious about it, anything, and um, really enjoyed doing that. Spent a lot of time, you know, and, you know, making little knives, stuff like that, and I kind of got away from it, and, um, and eventually, you know, I, I want to start, you know, getting back into that too, but, um, but, uh, more recently, you know, I got into, you know, doing some leather work and stuff, and uh, it's the first time I ever, you know, done any leather work, you know, some, I don't know, it's probably been probably close to a year ago, and I uh, really enjoyed, you know, doing that, and uh, just now I got started back doing it, and uh, I tell you, it's, it's been a lot of fun. Um, I sit out here a lot of times, y'all, um, eight, ten hours in my shop working on this leather, different things, and and I really uh, enjoy doing that. And um, what I want to do eventually uh, is uh, get my blacksmith shop. I know y'all heard me mention that a lot of times. Um, get my blacksmith shop going, and I want to start doing some knives, forging some knives, stuff like that. And and uh, I've got, uh, like I say, I, I, I've stored up my stuff, you know, to do this kind of stuff, um, like my anvil and all that kind of stuff, and all my tools and stuff. And, and I, I probably done got started uh, doing that if it hadn't been for my leather getting so involved with that. You know, I've been kind of tied up with that and trying to press for time doing some of my leather uh, work and stuff. But um, my woodworking and stuff, I, I still do my woodworking too. And uh, the bow turning, um, I enjoy that, but not 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 so much that I want to focus a lot of my time on it. I thought I'd uh, enjoy doing that, but it turns out a lot of times, you know, you'll, you'll spend time, you know, turning bows, and next thing you know, your bows are cracked and stuff, and that's just part of, you know, you have good bows, and you'll have some bows that, you know, just won't turn out, and, um, and minor cracks is fine, but when they, when we get a split in it, you know, kind of mess the whole bowl up, you know, it really ain't good, just for, just for more or less for looks, I guess you can say, 
So, uh, so I came back in here, like I said, I took that lathe out and I put it in my other shop and uh, been doing that, like I said, the leather work. And I, I just want to kind of show you all some of the things I've been working on. Um, it's going to be a wide variety of things eventually, you know, as I get into it a little bit more. But uh, I just kind of start out. Some of this stuff, you know, I made for, you know, for myself, you know, just because I wanted it and stuff like that. And I, I think that's how sometimes things get started. You just kind of make something for yourself and something you like, you know, and it goes from there. But um, I'll just show you. Uh, I made these little, well, one of my pistols there, a little uh, bodyguard uh, sheaths right there. And uh, this is a little left hand, this is a little right hand. I made uh, three of them because uh, the first one, like I say, you know, was more experimental. And, uh, then I made these two, and uh, I'm probably going to start using uh, this one right here. I uh, might change the color a little bit on it, but I um, uh, like an outside carry. Uh, this is a little bodyguard 380. Uh, that's my little concealed carry I use sometimes. And... Uh, I like uh, I like outside carry though a lot of times you know just a little small just look something small that little sheath right there you know that kind of uh, it worked out there good for me and um, another thing I've been working on um, is a lot of uh, knife sheaths for like buck knives um, everybody's got buck knives and uh, you know it's probably one of the more popular knives through the years and I would say. For, you know, for hunting, you know, a lot of times the guys use them for hunting and just a, just a good utility type knife to uh, carry on your side all the time. So uh, what I did here is I made just a wide array of, uh, you know, different type of sheaths and stuff. And I'm still, you know, making different ones because you never know what somebody's going to want whenever, you know, you go to a market, you know, sell this kind of stuff. So I just kind of, you know, making different ones, different styles. But um, so I got to say that like a style like this right here. Um, it's just going to be, um, you know, just that little cross on it, put a little barbed wire uh, border around it right there. And um, then you got, the, here's one I made right there. Got some praying hands on it right there. And uh, I, like, I really like uh, this right here. This is kind of like a, like, like a walnut color. It's like a two. Um, tone right there I really like that and um, you just sort of got one right there like that right there then of course you know I'm doing a little stamping here and there I haven't done no tooling uh, yet that's something I'm gonna have to get some experience doing uh, try to do some little tooling but um, here's like a basket weave right there and I'll just show you on the back right there Let's see right there that's how they look on the back which uh, I've changed my design this up, up a little bit um, on the back here I've started making them uh, I'm moving the, uh, the belt loop right here on the back I moved it over a little bit more um, they work fine either way because the one I'm carrying on me right now is actually uh, the first ones I was making and they carry fine just like they are but there's one right there it's got a little y'all see that right there got a cross on it but anyway uh, I got them like some deer on it and here's one right here got a right there you got like see right there you got fish on it right there Let's see, turn it around so y'all can see it there but anyway I got that style right there been working on and then uh then i made some uh, like a pancake or saddle type i call i don't know what i'm called saddle sheath but uh anyway the pancake uh, type sheath and uh it's for a buck one hand it's a wet molded sheath and here's one right here uh, it's the black and i'll swap on the back of right there Then like this right here got a cross. I like that pretty good. And uh, and uh, and uh, no, the the stitching what I'm using I'm using um, like a the bonded nylon uh, bonded uh, polyester. Uh, uh, I think it's tiger thread. Yeah, it's tiger thread what I'm using. And also I got some uh, nylon uh, that I use. But 
I, I like stitching with the polyester a little bit better. Um, it says it's more like UV resistant, but you no know, nylon looks nice too, but it's a lot easier. Now everything I do, y'all, I, I sew, I sew with my hands, and uh, I cut it out and everything, everything from beginning to end uh, is uh, right now being done uh, with my hands. And uh, let me show y'all that right there. That's a nice one there. But anyway, I just show you some of them I'm doing and. Uh, then also, uh, let me let me see here. Let me show you what kind of fit they have. So here, here's my knife right here, and uh, these like say uh, most of them right now. I'm, I'm doing a left hand, right hand carry too, but it says right hand. And let me show you a little bit more detail there. If y'all can see that right there, it's been wet formed, and it just snugs the knife just perfectly when you put it in there. Y'all kind of kind of hear that right there when I put it in and just slip right and it just popped. It's got a nice nice fit. It's it's, it's snug. You can see right there, it's got a good snug fit, and I do it that way. I'll show you right there. Good tight fit. I mean, it, it's in there, and uh, we wet form them that way. That's what you're gonna get. And over time, you know. As it wears in, you know, you gonna, um, you know, you gonna have a little, you know, wear over time. That's why I like making good and snug uh, right off the bat. And uh, I made one for my brother, and he he, he drives a truck, and uh, he said he loves that uh, pancake sheath. He had just a regular uh, fold over type sheath, you know, the buck knife comes with, and and uh, he said it just kind of disappears. It just forms real good to his side and everything. So he likes that pancake sheath a lot. But anyway. I've uh, been working on these uh, like case uh, trapper sheaves and a lot of times like these are, are fit different uh, knives besides a case uh, trapper knife but let me show you right there little sheaves like that right there that camera sometimes won't focus and uh, so I kind of do similar designs from you know everything from plain to you know crosses and print hand and let's say some of them may have a, a deer on it or you know just whatever you know depending you know I just kind of do a mixed variety right now just because you know just, you don't never know what you know somebody may want but uh, I also made a few and uh, I'm trying to figure out different designs we'll see what I like best but made uh, you know a few uh, ammo pouches right there to uh, store you know ammo in and uh, I've always uh, wanted a leather case so I made my brother one last year and uh, that's what it looks like right there and uh, just uh, drop your ammo in there and here's one right here made just a little bit just a little bigger here this is right here just drop your ammo in there carry it on the back side there's a so anyway y'all that's what I've been working on uh, plan on uh, you know expanding to different things I you know making stuff and you know I made some like universal type uh, sheaths that you know fit different type knives and more you know you don't never know what somebody's going to be uh, walking up to your table there you know say well I got this knife you know so I'm kind of making a wide range of uh, knife sheaths and stuff like that, and uh, going to uh, we've also made some leather keychains, stuff like that. I don't have none of them out here right now to show you, but uh, just gonna be doing a lot of different things. And like I said, I'm still gonna be uh, probably doing some of my woodwork, setting up some of that stuff, you know, uh, to uh, sell also. And uh, but I just want to bring y'all along, kind of show you, you know, what I've been doing and. And, and this video for the most part is about my leather work because that's that's pretty much what I've been tied up with y'all uh, Then uh, besides you know, you know doing the normal, you know routines around the home and uh, Gardening and stuff like that, you know the garden kind of takes care of itself this time of year Just basically plant it and let it go, you know, it ain't like you know planting a spring garden. It's more involved You know gotta get out there and do a lot more work, but my uh, spring garden besides just the, the rain but there y'all it's been real dry and everything uh, haven't got much rain at all 
and uh, luckily down there where I plant my greens, it saves no more no moist than anywhere else. So that's a good thing, you know, this time of year when it's dry like it is. But um, anyway, y'all don't want to make this video too long windy there. Uh, I say it's been a while, so I just try to give y'all a little bit of updates. The chickens and stuff they doing real good. Um, we're getting we got a well we bought about you know 14 hens and one of them you know died we're getting uh, 13 eggs a day now so we're doing good we're on the eggs and stuff and prices they came down you know a good bit than what it used to be but uh we're getting plenty of eggs now and, and uh so anyway y'all i'm starting to ramble there talking about chicken eggs now <laughs> but uh anyway i uh, Hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Uh, hope y'all uh, uh, you leave me some comments there. If y'all got anything to say there, just leave me a comment. And um, that's all right. I'll be bringing y'all some more videos and stuff. It's just right now, I'm just so uh, focused on getting some of this stuff made up, you know, to take it to show and stuff to make sure, you know, have plenty of stuff, you know, to sell. Like I say, I, I, don't, I don't know exactly the... the how, different areas I'm going to be branching out in. Like I say, I'm just learning this as I go. And uh, so far, like I said, I've been having a lot of, I guess, a lot of fun, you know, doing this. You know, I told my wife, there ain't a lot of things I can set up and, and stay, you know, stay attentive to for that longer period of time. You know, they just kind of pass by. And uh, I've been so, and that's the next thing, you know, phone calls, stuff. Like, you know, I've got, you know, I've been so busy, I, I haven't, you know, normally I call somebody here or there, you know, talk to them. I, I haven't even had much time to even do that, y'all. I've just been so focused on getting this stuff done. And because earlier this year, you know, I was just tied up a lot of time. I spent a lot of time with my son playing uh, baseball and stuff and helping him out. And uh, so I just kind of, you know, more or less now toward the end of the year, which is not a good thing, is uh, playing catch up. But uh, anyway, having fun doing it. Uh, that's one thing I can say. Uh, if you enjoy what you do and uh, it don't seem like a job, and uh, it's probably it's probably a good thing, you know. Uh, uh, that is, like I say, it's not not too many times I've, I've ever said that. Man, I I enjoy getting up. Sometimes I I've got up real early, you know, come out here working stuff just because you know, you know, it's it's I actually enjoy doing it, you know. But anyway, y'all, appreciate y'all watching, and uh, hope the video hasn't been too long. And uh, as always, friends, from my family to yours, y'all have a blessed day, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.